Welcome back everyone. The OnePlus Nord was just kind of announced in a way and once again they didn't send it to me which is okay. I mean they gotta learn bro. I've been talking about OnePlus phones for so long and, and I'm still gonna talk about it anyway. Now the one thing about the OnePlus Nord that is really cool compared to the OnePlus 8 is that it's cheaper than the OnePlus 8 which that was it wasn't a cheap phone by any means but I think it was a pretty good priced phone for what you're getting and I'll tell you comparing these two if you have all the money in the world to spend getting a OnePlus 8 is probably still the better way to go software wise they're probably going to get the same softwares and all that stuff throughout time but I think with the OnePlus 8 you're just getting better specs you're getting a better screen in my opinion and this is just based off all the specs that we know but after all my comparisons with the oneplus 8 i saw that dude it's a tremendous phone in my opinion now you can pick up a oneplus 8 on amazon for about 640 dollars so i'll leave one link down below if you want to pick it up from there now on the front we have you know almost the same size screens we have a 6.4 inch panel on the oneplus nord on the oneplus 8 we have a 6.5 inch panel so very similar they're both 1080p funny enough they both have the same refresh rate as well at 90 hertz so one doesn't really blow the other one out of the water here either i will tell you though i mean i kind of do like how the oneplus nord is kind of shaped it's a little bit seems a little bit more like circular in a way up top and the bottom where the oneplus 8 seems a little bit sharper i don't know if that describes it that well but Obviously on the front you have that dual camera setup on the OnePlus Nord, single camera setup on the OnePlus 8, and on the back this is actually very very interesting. We have a triple camera setup on the OnePlus 8, but a quadruple camera setup on the OnePlus Nord. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's better, I still do believe that the OnePlus 8 still has a better camera. That's honestly very interesting. One thing to note, the OnePlus Nord can only shoot 4K at 30 frames, where the OnePlus 8 can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. So that's another pretty big thing to note and this is kind of almost like the a series i feel like that oneplus is trying to start with like how samsung has their a series so they're trying to put more camera sensors to make it look better even though it might not truly be the case in terms of software they're both having android 10 starting on auction os 10 and they're both probably going to get the same software updates at the end of it so kind of keep that in mind one isn't going to blow the other one out of the water when it comes to that one now the specifications inside of it the oneplus no one has the qualcomm snapdragon 765g an octa-core cpu and adreno 620 gpu and there's a couple different models of this phone the base model has 64 gigs of ram with 6 gigs of storage then there's a mid-tier model with 128 gigs of storage with 8 gigs of ram and then the top tier 256 gig model with 12 gigs of ram which is actually pretty good like that's a really good amount of you know specs inside of this phone for somewhat of a budget device where the OnePlus 8 has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 chipset, an octa-core CPU, and a Adreno 650 GPU. The mid-tier model has 8 gigs of RAM, the top-tier model has 12. So again, the OnePlus 8 is still going to be the faster phone pretty much in every way you look at it, but I think the OnePlus Nord is going to be extremely good still, and once I do get my hands on it and compare it fully, I mean, then we'll kind of have a better idea, but that's honestly pretty surprising at this price tag. And even though they're not selling it in the United States, so like officially, obviously people are still going to bring it here and get our hands on it stuff. But, and like I stated, even though the OnePlus 8 is probably the faster one, the OnePlus Nord is still impressive when it comes down to it. Now we'll go ahead and end off with the battery life. The OnePlus 8 had a 4300 million power battery. The OnePlus Nord has a 4115 million power battery. Both these phones really don't even have any wireless charging or any, you know, IP certification, which does kind of suck in a way. But at the end of it, the battery life between both of these phones are going to be really good. And at the end of it, I mean, there's so many similarities here that it's actually very interesting. The OnePlus 8, even though it's, you know, noticeably more expensive than the OnePlus Nord, it's not like a way better device. It is a better device in my opinion, but it's not like what you would expect. After all the videos that I've seen of it, after all the things I've read about it, it's almost like if the OnePlus 8 was a 10 out of 10, the OnePlus Nord I think is at least like an 8 out of 10 of what the OnePlus 8 can do. It can really almost do everything that phone can do. Maybe just not as good, maybe just not as good looking or whatever, but I'm really surprised about this phone for sure. So that really pretty much covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. The like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. More importantly, everything else, love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.